going to expel them to Malaysia. There were protests over the Howard government's policies. Uh, will you support protests now? Tony Abbott says that it's uh, you know only fair that you and Get Up and everybody else who are against their policies should now start protesting in the streets. Will you do that? I think I've been very clear about um, the fact that I disagree wholeheartedly with this policy, that I disagree with this uh, process. I think uh, compassionate thinking Australians are getting sick to death of being um, <laughs> taken down this false uh, uh, road of a ra race to the bottom with no true leadership. You know, I think Tony Abbott would like us to all think that we've got collective amnesia and we've forgotten how uh, terrible uh, people, vulnerable people, children were treated under the Howard government. Well, many of us haven't forgotten that. Actually, and, you said uh, the Howard and government's policies were labelled abhorrent, and so all the people who labelled them abhorrent should now go and protest in the streets over this policy. So, well, think, would you support protests? Uh, I, I think Australians who who are concerned about this need to be raising their voices, absolutely. And I've always been saying that. And uh, as far as what I can hear. And I've talked to people on the street when I'm at the airport. When I, I haven't heard anyone say to me, "Oh yes, this is a good idea. Let's send children to Malaysia." I think our people are already protesting. The minister says, though, he says, you know, let unaccompanied children. You said before that um, you would encourage all Australians to raise their voice, um, but Get Up have said they're not going to protest. So, what do you think about that? Oh, that's up to get up to decide. I, I think I think I think uh, uh, compassionate thinking Australians who don't want to see vulnerable children, uh, vulnerable men and women sent to Malaysia with no guarantees of protections of their rights. If people believe that that is wrong, then they should be saying so. The should Greens supported protests though in the past. I just want to come back to this because yeah. it's I think it's important. You, you supported protests against the previous government's mm. policies. You say this government's policies are inhumane. What don't what don't so you un, what don't you understand? Well, I just want to hear answer. you say you think people should protest. I, and I said I think people already are. Well, they're not though. We haven't seen the protests in the streets. We haven't seen That's, people yeah. chaining themselves to fences outside detention centres in the way I, we did. With the Howard government. You know, I, th I think lots of people take their own uh, avenues to object to government policy, poor government policy. What if uh, if that means uh, writing to the minister, calling Talkback Radio, um, getting loud on the streets? That's for them to choose how they take their action. Um, as long as it's peaceful, as long as it's uh, it's not harming anyone. Uh, it's the, we the, the beauty of living in Australia is that we have a wonderful democracy where people can have their voice heard, where they can share their voice. It's, isn't it ironic that a lot of the people who are who are coming here for protection, uh, the protection of Australia's borders are people who are not able to raise their own voices in their own countries and, and that's why they face persecution. So, you know, being able to have Australians raise their voices for them, well, I think that is welcome. You, you say that there should be more political leadership on this mm. um, and you've held a number of press conferences like this. Are you going to use your power uh, as the Greens supporting the government to make them move on this, on uh, reverse some of these? Because you, in the past, refused to withdraw support for the government. Well, I'm not going to. The, the Greens aren't going to withdraw our support from the government. So is and there's that a variety. There is a variety of different things that, uh, uh, you know, we support the the government of the day on in terms of being in government. The, you know, do do I think Tony Abbott is going to be any better? Well, of course not. You know, the, as I said, I think Tony Abbott would like us to all have collective amnesia, uh, but we don't. And. Uh, if anyone thinks that it's going to be Tony Abbott and, and Scott Morrison out as the new human rights crusaders, well, no one's buying that. How but can, how are you going to you use your political muscle against the government? I mean, you have an opportunity here to actually mm. um, say to them they're doing something wrong and use and your power against that. And, and you know, how, how are you going to do that? Has that even been discussed in the Green Party room? Well, we discuss these issues all the time. and. Uh, you know, we, we, we got an inquiry up yesterday uh, so that we could look at, really, for the first time, uh, the alternatives to, to manage. If, uh, I think it speaks for itself. What's more important, basic, what, what, what's more important, basic human rights of children or the Greens staying in a minority government? I would like to ensure that we can, I, we can do whatever we can to uphold uh, the values that... Um, a lot of Australians hold that we should be protecting kids, but that and, wasn't that's, my and that's Sorry. and that's what and that's what I'm here doing. So, what's more important, though? What, what alternative are the Greens offering? It's not.